Welcome to the freshgigs.ca interviews. My name is Natalie Street. I've been in the industry for about four years. I'm currently at Taxi in Toronto and I work on the Boston Pizza account. A typical day in the role of an account manager changes daily, but it's everything from seeing a project through from start to finish, so right from the briefing through to the execution, and then also in between that just managing everyone's expectations and timelines and coordinating between the clients and the media partners and any other partners that might be involved, our internal team, including the creative team, and just making sure that everybody's on the same page and that everyone's clear on what needs to happen for the next couple of days and uh, what needs to happen for even the rest of the year, usually. As an account manager, when it comes to strategy and annual planning, we luckily on our account, and I believe within the agency overall, get to play a really big role. So we sit in with the clients uh, closer to the end of the year, ramping up for the following year and sort of lay out everything that's happened in the year past and look at what might need to happen for the year following, make sure that we're all on the same page and then from there decide what the projects will be for that following year. And then coming out of that, we work really closely with the clients on their brief as far as strategy goes and then we take that away after meeting with them and work with our strategy department to put together an agency brief and then take that back to the client and work with our team internally to make sure that the strategy is clear and that we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay. To be an account manager, there are a few things that I think would be really helpful. One is definitely being organized and having an eye for detail. Everyone on the team and the client side is definitely always looking to you to figure out what needs to happen next, what the timelines are like, and you need to be able to, amongst all of the busyness and all of the details, pay attention to every little detail and make sure that you have everything covered off because everybody does have a separate role to play. You need to make sure that everybody is clear on what they need to do but also what you need to do and have covered off and that requires a, a lot of details amongst uh, the bigger pieces for sure. Um, I would say also as an account person you need to have great people and problem solving skills. So as an account person you're working with people from the client side and marketing departments, you're working with other various vendors, you're working with people within the agency and different departments, so there's all sorts of varying personalities and opinions and you need to make sure that you know, you're know you being respectful and friendly and being an enjoyable person to work with amongst the varying personalities and uh, along with that, because things are always changing and you never know what could happen, the problem solving skills are definitely really important and working with those different personalities to find a solve quickly. Um, and I think just the nature of our business is problem solving from the moment that the clients brief us in, we're looking to solve and find a solution or idea for them that will hopefully ultimately increase their sales or build to whatever objective they're looking towards. So working in the industry, I think that the most exciting thing is just the work and seeing the evolution of the work, seeing how it builds from start to finish and how these insightful creative ideas come to life, how they were originally you know, briefed in from that strategy point, how they grow all the key players that are involved, all the different opinions, seeing how the idea changes over time and the amount of time that goes into it is uh, really interesting and exciting. So just what comes out of that um, overall and from different places too because 
this industry is always evolving. You need to make sure that you're constantly paying attention to not only the work that's happening within your agency, but that's happening around the world because you're sort of expected to an extent to be aware of what's going on on an everyday basis. And our clients look to us to uh, be aware of what's happening around the world as well so that they can stay uh, up to speed and ahead of the curve. The advertising culture is sort of a different one. It's a really casual uh, environment. I would say even just like dress code wise, like everybody around here is comfortable in their jeans and what have you. It's not necessarily about coming to work in a suit and tie every day. Um, it's a really fun environment too. So there's recognition for all of the hard work and uh, we know how to work hard and play hard for sure. So it's not uncommon to have, you know, like drink carts go around the office if we have a fundraising event going on. So it might be, you know, something on a Friday afternoon or prior to sort of a work get together to help raise money for uh, different clients or different clients fundraising initiatives. Um, we also, in the industry, it's common to have different sort of exciting off-sites just as an opportunity to get to know the people within the office that you maybe don't necessarily get to work with on a daily basis. So one of the ones we had in this example is uh, we all went out bowling, all of the account people, and just went out for the night at a huge bowling alley and got dressed up ridiculously and competed in teams. and had a couple of beers and just got to know each other in a different sort of environment. And uh, it's always just nice to have that and get to know everybody around the office, but also just get to hang out with the people that you work with in a different sort of setting other than the office. You've probably heard that the hours in advertising are a little insane. It's not a nine to five job, but it fluctuates and that's what's exciting about all of it so as much as the hours may change and you may be putting in more time than what a typical nine to five job might be that's what's great about it it's not a mundane job that you know exactly what you're going and doing for that day you can check it off your list you clock in you clock out it's you go into the day and you kind of have a good idea as to what you might be doing but that could change and new challenges are going to come up and that's the excitement of it and that's what makes you grow so quickly in the role and that's what makes it so exciting because you're constantly being challenged and you're constantly being thrown new ideas and sometimes issues and you just need to learn how to manage your day accordingly and a lot of learning comes from that and uh, a lot of the excitement in the industry comes from that as well. If someone were thinking of starting out in the advertising industry, I would say just be ready to work. Just be willing to help in any way you possibly can and that will be very well received whether you think certain tasks fall under your job description or not. That's how you learn and this isn't an industry where you're restricted by your job description. It's a very open sort of environment and there are so many different ways that you can learn and different departments that you can learn from that if you just stay open to being willing to help with anyone and anything, then you don't even realize the amount that you can learn in such a short amount of time. Um, I would also say never stop asking questions because that doesn't get old and I always find that you're better to ask more questions than to assume anything anyways. Um, another piece of advice I would give to someone thinking of starting out in the industry is to be decisive. I think that sometimes when you, <coughs> sorry, it's okay. I think another thing for someone starting out in the industry would be to be decisive. Sometimes when people are starting out with an internship or a more junior role at an agency or 
anywhere, they might think that you know their opinions aren't necessarily respected because they haven't spent time in the industry or in the office, but this is the sort of industry where varying opinions and thinking is appreciated and that's what makes it what it is. So as much as you definitely want to come in and soak it all in and take in all the information that you can, know that your opinion is likely valid and your gut instincts are appreciated. So sort of taking a stand and putting a stake in the ground is definitely something that would be seen as admirable in this sort of position. In my role as an account manager at Taxi, I report directly into an account director. A lot of the time when people initially start in an account role in the industry, they can find that they'll find an interest in other sorts of roles within the industry after maybe a year, after several years, but it's not necessarily the type of industry where you're restricted to just that role. And once you've started in that role, that's where you should stay for your years coming. Because there's so many different opportunities and different types of roles within the industry, once you've exposed yourself to those different types of roles, you can get a feeling yourself whether or not that's something that you feel that you'd be interested in and if it's something that you feel that you have the strengths to be successful with. But no matter what role you start out with within the industry, it's fairly flexible and uh, you can definitely go from an account role to a strategic sort of role. You could end up in, say, media, even if you found that your interests were in there. There's definitely some uh, account people that are also a little bit more creative as well, so it can definitely change over the years. So I initially got into advertising because I was taking a business degree in university and had a lot of psychology electives, and I started seeing how my psychology electives were overlapping with some of my marketing classes, and that was where my genuine interest lied. So. I started looking at different types of roles that existed in advertising when I came out of school and just did informational interviews with people in varying roles on client side, agency side, just to get a better understanding of what roles even existed in the industry. And then from there I learned that I was probably best suited to be an account manager. As an account manager, in the next few years and down the road for me in advertising, I would ideally in years to come become an account director and take everything that I've learned from the great team that I've been fortunate enough to work with and be able to share that with a team that I could lead one day and then ideally move into maybe even a more senior role after that within the same agency at Taxi. Uh, just to be able to really expand the learning that I've done here and make sure that uh, any learnings that I do have that I can pass along to uh, teams as I sort of progress and spend more time in the industry. For more interviews, industry articles, and the latest jobs, visit www.freshgigs.ca.